Hey guys, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is your girl TM, and I'm back with another Pika card reading. Wow, you can see that already what's on the table. Okay, today Pika card reading is really different. I just got you to do that. Um, and uh, I also see that um, I did not see this reading um, like other readers are doing or not, but that's why I really want to do this because I know what is this mean is and um, why we needed this uh, reading. Okay, so. You can see that this is an angel numbers here, you know, a lot of angels numbers. People are seeing these synchronicities, angels numbers, signs everywhere. And you want to know that what is the purpose, what universe is basically trying to tell you, okay? What is the, this message all about that you're seeing a lot of everywhere, you know, you're seeing 11, 11, 22, 333, uh, 444, everything that you're seeing and you, you don't want to know. Um, you basically want to know that why it's happening, what universe is trying to tell you, okay? What is going through, wh where you have to focus focus in your life okay so this is the reading that about okay today so keep in mind this is a general reading okay may or may not resonate with everyone but if it does please give the thumbs up subscribe my channel i will bring these all readings for all of you whenever i feel guided to do anything for you guys because this is all about you and me so i'm using my um you know uh, insight for for all of you and you want this so that's why it's here so you can see that there's the angel numbers here with this uh, starting with the triple one triple two triple three triple four triple five triple six seven eight and nine okay if you are seeing these numbers okay everywhere and you're seeing with the on the daily basis and from the years and years and you want to know that what is this number and universe trying to tell you what is that wise where you have to focus everything all about you and i will just definitely help you from the tarot obviously so uh, you can choose more than one number you can choose definitely where whatever you are seeing okay so there is no uh, specific one pile here you can choose whatever numbers you are seeing and where you have to focus in your life what is the advice what is universe trying to tell you okay what you have to follow you know follow your guides and everything that i was just pick up from the universe from the angels from the intuitively psychically i will just pick up anything that i will feel okay i will tell you okay so yeah this is the reading all about you can come to me for personal if you want to check out the description box for all the prizes and detail follow me on instagram for more fun type of readings like this so let's start the reading guys today okay the people group number one the people who choose triple one if you're seeing one 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 everywhere let's see what is this message where have you focus everything i will just uh, you know quickly will tell you what is going on here we have the release card here as you can see that you know from the astrologers cards we have fourth house we have abundance we have meditate and contemplate new moon in pisces we have healing begins number six we have nine of summer. This is basically nine of cups. Okay. Wishes are coming true. Dreams fulfilled. A magical time of life. We have two of autumn. This is two of earth basically. We have king of spring. Hey. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have water energy. Very strong here. Especially Cancer and Pisces. Then we have uh, triumph, success. Ace of swords reverse here. Okay. Now from the angels, we have you already. You have asked for help from others. And then we have reconciliation, but it's came up reverse. Okay. I definitely feel some of you, you really need to release something from your past. This is really, I feel that why you are seeing the triple one here is that definitely these angels are trying to tell you that the truth, okay, that you're looking for and guidance that you're looking for. And it's looked like this is already in you. Okay, this is already in you, but you're looking in somewhere else. You're looking in someone else. Okay, they will not tell you. You need to follow your intuition. It could be possible you're not following your intuitions. You're not taking control of your life. That's what I'm picking up here. You got to release this toxic energy. You got to release your negative life, you know, thought patterns because it, swords is also talk about clarity, truth. So there is something that you need to focus on your mind, on your nerves, on your uh, thinking. Okay, and you need to release that because look at this, all this uh, fall is, you know, this is like autumn, all the leaves are falling apart because then, you know, in the, in the spring and, uh, you know, the new, new leaves will come and definitely there will be new opportunity for you, new beginnings for you. So basically they're trying to tell you that if you are in a toxic energy, in a toxic life pattern of thinking, negative thinking, negative, um, you know, you have fears, you have doubts, okay, everything, and you are just doubting on yourself and your path, you need to release this, you need to be stay positive, 
I definitely, your focus is definitely your mind here. You need to release something, you need to focus on. And I also have with the reconciliation reverse here, some of you could be waiting from someone from past. You're waiting for the truth, you're waiting for the communication. Let it go. Let it go, okay? And then we have the King of Supreme. Take control of your life. King of Supreme, you know that. What this person is, innovative, inspiring, wise, threatical. This is King of Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You need to focus on your abundance. You need to focus on your own abundance. Create your own abundance. F focus on your futures. Focus, uh, focus on your goals, okay? And just not focus on that. Just make a move. Just do something for it. Because this is like creation. Create your own abundance. You have everything that you can do, I feel here. But you need to focus on that, that yes, you can do it but you're not believing on this okay you need to release this toxic energy and negative thoughts and we have this meditate and contemplate and then we have asked for help from others so yeah don't shy don't shy to ask for help from others okay if you have something going on you need to share with other people with your friends with your family that you can trust them and they can guide you they can help you and also meditate i feel definitely you need a meditation here you need some healing here because this is card also telling you here that healing begins you need to heal because you're ready to move forward you are ready honey you're ready to cut this shit out that is definitely disturbing you from years and years could be okay it's time for you to release it's time for you to heal it's time for you to choose yourself with this nine of summer wishes are coming through just focus on yourself you are a beautiful human being definitely universe is uh, trying to tell you god is telling you that you are ready for anything you can create your own abundance you can create your own life so but you gotta believe on that two of autumn this talk about you need to focus on balance Where, wherever i feel that you need to uh, focus on balance like scale mind and heart you need to focus on that and being logical choose whatever is good for you whatever is healthy for you to be honest i would say okay i definitely feel here that you need to get balance here you need to take control of your life your wish will come true definitely after when you will release this uh, negative pattern you when you will believe on yourself you when you will heal to try to heal yourself from the you know definitely the negative energy then we have this fourth house it's talk about family issues could be you have a family trauma you need to heal and this is what they are telling you fourth house is also cancer you know so uh, so definitely some of you really need to heal from toxic energy you need to release that person out of your chest whatever you are you know um it's like um putting your on your chest from a childhood or uh, this could be toxic relationship with people this could be toxic energies okay that you're dealing with right now definitely there could be something that you need to release then you will get this abundance i definitely feel that from this pile this uh, and triple one you need to focus on your positive energy positive thinking healing and releasing definitely will bring you abundance love success whatever you're looking for but balance is the key balance and communication is the key in your all relationships in your all matters okay so that is option number one okay the people who choose triple two okay why you are seeing this number let's find out why you're seeing this number everywhere we have flexibility definitely this is the number of two balance harmony we have the 11th house aquarius could be dealing with or you are we have expect Tensi. Wow. Look at this all pink here. We have be bold and make the first move. Okay. We have moving on. Eight of cups reverse. Could be a water sign. We have ego. Oh, hell. Number 15. So it could be a Capricorn because it's a devil energy. We have Prince of Summer. Water energy. We have the world. Wow. Wow. I'm loving it. We have seven of wands reverse. Stand your ground. It's reverse. We have weight from the universe. We have listened to your intuition. And then we have passion. Okay. I definitely feel that you guys are really creative peoples. Okay. You can in, be in a creative energy also. I feel that you need to accept your passion. You need to accept whatever your creative skills are. Okay. I, I, with this pink energy, I definitely feel Venus vibe very strongly here. You guys are creative. You guys are creative. You can create the world. You can, you can make the, you know, um, make the mark on the world without, uh, through your work, through your creativity, through your art. If you're a light worker, I also feel that there's a passion here to do something, to heal yourself, to heal others. The world is also talking about that your world will change with this passion. I, I, if you don't have a passion to do anything, you're almost giving up. I feel that you need to stand up on your ground. This is a time for you. This is a time for you to do and create your own world, to create your own abundance and also the success, these creative things that you are going on in your mind and universe is telling you, but you are not hearing it because you are not listening to your intuitions. 
you're ignoring your intuitions and this is here the number seven this is a spiritual number so this could be significant for some of you but this is the universe is trying to tell you do this choose this path choose this but you're saying no i can't do it i can't no they're telling you no you can do it you have this ability you have this creative skills you can do it if something is you feel that you can do it you gotta do it what i'm picking up here okay 11th house is definitely technology it's a aquarius communication vibration you can communicate with people with this passion whatever your passion is whatever you are right now working on and you can work on in the future you know you can con connect with the large amount of people okay through your uh, through social media through communication through technology whatever your wish is you are a light worker you can go from one place to another look at this this is a group shattering you can make a lot of uh, impact on other people's you can be in a group group activity you can create projects with other people's like uh, if you are into this energy whatever your in energy is you need to be flexible you need to learn how to creative how to be acceptant of your passion of your desires and of of your, of your creative skills and also work with other people's create and uh, share your abilities share your skills with other people's and with the world because they need it okay they need it that's why the uh, universe is trying to tell you that get out of your comfort zone do something for people's for others okay so yeah 11th house it's like your wish is coming through uh, definitely your dreams will come true with and also be bold and make the move if you're an introvert if you are a people who just you know think about a lot they're saying that don't wait okay wait for the right time wait for the right opportunity and do it i definitely feel that you can create a lot of abundance stand on your ground stand on your beliefs stand for, for what whatever you are for fighting for okay don't um think what other people will think flexible be flexible okay make a move you are a, you are a unique you are different look at this with this tiger here I definitely feel you need to do that. You have a lot of passion, okay? You have a lot of stuff to do and to share with other people. You need to share it, what I'm picking up here. But there is your ego here with the weight here trying to stop you. But your ego, ego is our mind. This, this tell about like you can, you can't do it. You have fears, you know, your subconscious mind tell you that you can't do it, but you can do it. Go for it, whatever you are doing for, okay? But don't let your ego come in the way of your success, of your abundance, of your productivity, of your creative skills. Uh, ego is a, is a, uh, it's a devil card. It's a material life. So definitely I feel that you will be successful materialistically, okay? So you need to do that. You need to do that create, uh, because your passion, your uh, creative skills definitely can create a lot of things here, Okay? This could be talking about that you can create with other people's group partnership. Your passion is really important. You need to follow your intuition. You need to follow your passion. And you can create a lot of abundance for yourself and for other people too. Okay. With the sprints of summer, yeah, definitely I feel here. You need to follow your heart. You need to follow your desire. This is here romantic, captivating, dramatic, flirtatious. Some of you, you really want to go and being acting, you know, be, being an actor. You know, uh, you could be want to be in a modeling. You, you want to be a designer. You want to be write a book, some romantic novels or something. I don't know, whatever your creativity here. This is also creativity here. I definitely feel you need to do that. Don't give up on your passion. Don't give up, whatever your passion is, okay? Don't think like, why, what, I, if you will be successful or not. You will. Wait for the right moment because, and listen to your intuition. They're telling you already. Then we have this moving on reverse here. Some of you, you really need to stuck in the past energies. You still have these fears. Your ego is really stopping you. No, don't do that. You can't do it. You can do it. You can do anything. Your wish will come to I definitely feel some of you, you will be worldwide successful because we have 11th house and when we have the world card. You know, this is Aquarius card. This is definitely friends, projects, families, uh, you know, no, large circle, large circle, large uh, type of people's group of the people that you can um, monitor, you can be with, okay? This could be a very famous and very strong company that you can work with, organizations, NGOs, I don't know. This is like worldwide famous and this is like worldwide success here. But your ego is stopping you. They're telling you, no, you can't do it. You can do it. Move on. It's time to move on. Don't stuck in your patterns and your feelings and emotions. Don't your ego, your emotions and anything can stop you. Don't give up. You can create a lot of success here. But listen to your intuitions and wait for the right moment, whatever you are looking for. It will come to you and be flexible. Okay? Just focus on yourself. 11th house, definitely. It's a freedom. It's an association. Try to free yourself from the past. Okay? And move on. Create your own life. Be bold and make the first move. Yes, you can do it. Be, be unique, okay? Be flexible and do whatever you want to do here, okay? So that's your reading. Hello, triple three, the people who are, you know, seeing this sign. Let's see what is happening. We have the purity, the wolf. We have the ninth house, Sagittarius. 
you could be a, you really meant we have spiritual growth yeah definitely you are a spiritual wolf I mean look at this wolf instincts loners we have surrendered to the divine yes full moon we have spread your wings two of wands reverse why everyone's justice Libra we have ace of winter yes you guys are air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius but we have fire to awakening Pisces okay we have recognition and um, rewards three of pentacles reward could be earth sign I love that Pisces came up with the spiritual growth I love this I will tell you why we have a year from now we have perfect timing and from this we have chemistry there is a strong magnetic attraction here okay I will tell you why I'm seeing this sense here. I'm telling you that what's happening here that you could be Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere, Neptune, your, your Saturn in Pisces, I don't know, something is definitely in the 12th house for you. Your 12th house is really powerful, the people who choose triple three here, okay? And you're also ninth house is very powerful. Why? Because I feel that you can come into a spiritual growth, okay? Universe is trying to tell you, you could be more practical people, you could be more, you know, um, some of you, okay? You could be more... Um, you are spiritual people, but you could be trying to avoid your spiritual gifts of what I'm picking up here, your spiritual abilities. Some of you, you are into this deep already awakening, okay? Your, your kundali is awakening. Everything is awakening. Your chakra is opening. You know what is your life purpose, what you have to do here. But others of you, it's look like your universe is trying to tell you that you are here to create something because three is the number of creation, you know, working with other people's, you know, um, creative, you know, one plus two is, is like a triangle, you know? so this is like a project this is like a large level of huge level of working with other people's organization networking what i'm picking up here so this is awakening here this means that spiritual growth spiritual awakening spiritual awaken um by your mind and you know that what you have to do here ninth house it's a sagittarius card it's a journey okay this is like you guys are onto a spiritual journey uh, if you are already here i feel that with this yin and yang i definitely feel that you guys are here to create balance in your life yin and yang uh, feminine and masculine energy you need to uh, you need to uh, balance your energies okay you could be more masculine in this energy the people who choose triple three are you could be more feminine so no this is what your life purpose is this is why the universe is trying to tell you that you need to be balanced in feminine and masculine energy then you will create this spiritual awakening and purity in your life this is here spiritual growth i definitely feel you guys really need to be um this is like a lot of spiritual growth like um for, for you need to focus on your spirituality i definitely feel here because with this ninth house sagittarius energy this is like journey this is like guidance this is like um graduating this is like um spirituality learning something going deep within yourself what is your life purpose why you are here this is like thinking like worldwide okay so spiritual growth and awakening definitely there is something universe is trying to tell you to focus on your spiritual so, can, so just focus on your soul okay your soul is calling you to do something so please listen to that intuition okay and then we have surrender to the divine yes surrender to the divine if i feel that you could be trying to be more uh, you you want to control the things like i can do it i can do it yes you can do it but i feel that you also need to have faith to believe on universe sometime it's it's really good for you to surrender to the divine because you don't know what is happening that's what this universe is trying to tell you you need to learn patience you need to learn to surrender surrender that's what universe is trying to tell you because everything will be happen on the perfect timing so this is how universe is trying to tell you whatever you're looking for it will come justice you will get the justice universe is already with you you will get the clarity you will get the truths you will get out um a perfect partner you will get someone you will fr you will get friendships you will get the justice whatever justice you're looking for i don't know universe is trying to tell you you will get better on the right time because there is some lessons here that you learn you need to learn you need to heal you need to grow spiritually and you need to uh, definitely um surrender then we have this a year from now chemistry so there could be some partnerships coming in love or in romance or in uh in business partnerships a year from now so so don't worry i definitely feel some of you you really are light worker you're you you are a hard worker but also at the same time when you don't get recognition and rewards you just you, you just left that thing you just uh, give up no because you're not spreading your wings widely it's came up reverse okay so i feel that universe is trying to tell you that no you you have your own path you need to follow your path you don't need to follow other people's and group of people what are they doing you you have your own life purpose so you need to go on your own life purpose and you're not doing it
universe is trying to tell you that you're not doing it you need to follow your life path you need to follow your life purpose that what your soul is calling you to do that's what your intuitions are telling you so just focus what your intuitions your soul is trying to tell you ace of winter this is talking about new beginning clarity truths okay and also come out of the cold behavior come out to and come into this purity that's what they're telling you i definitely feel you you guys need to work with other people you could be a loner people you you really be feel comfortable to work with yourself and being introvert it could be possible but universe is trying to tell you know this is a time to work with other people okay because this is really important for you and for others people learn from each other share your knowledge and also get help from other people too that's what this uh, chemistry here that's what the partnership is here so definitely i feel that you need to come into your purity and being successful and work with other people what i'm picking up here you will get the justice you will get the clarity some of you you will be successful in a justice law okay uh, and some type of things a year from now definitely on the perfect timing but you need to be you could be a spiritual justice it will give uh, other people spiritually justice and helping other people and so many things but the main purpose here the people who choose triple three creativity okay working with other people okay and spiritual growth whatever your life purpose in whatever you're doing you need to do spiritually and you will get the justice in that way and spread your wings spread your wings whatever you are your soul is calling you whatever universe is trying to tell you don't ignore your intuitions don't ignore your soul calling okay so that is option number three hello the people who choose triple four let's see why you are seeing the signs what is the purpose of this we have healing chaos yeah we have third house gemini we have sorrow we have believe in the impossible but it's game of reverse we have daydreams and decision number seven reverse we have king of winter wow gemini libra aquarius knowledgeable experienced fair-minded and emotional and then we have water energy too here eight of winter yeah a lot of air eight of swords here when then we have nine of supreme fire we have material harvest nine of pentacles earth energy i love it two nines we have yes wow look at this we have compromise balance libra then we have stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance okay some of you are definitely single right now okay let me tell you you feel like why it's happening with you that's why you choose uh, universe is trying to tell you you definitely going through a lot of sorrows pain separations okay um undecorated love energies and you could be going through some um difficult time and suffering time let's say you could be involved in other people's in romance in relationships in partnerships with work business uh, whatever you do okay but you get at the end of the day sorrow ha you know you 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 felt left alone you felt like nobody loves you nobody cares about you but no that's why the number four is angelic master number universe number is here god's number is here they're telling you no you you you're wrong i love you this is universe this is god telling you we care for you nobody cares nobody just don't think about the humans beyond the humans you are created you are a creation of god we love you okay you have a purpose on this life you are going through this all because you need to compromise you need to make a healthy boundary who to allow in your life who to avoid this is what universe is trying to teach you and stay optimistic don't be just if something happened in if one incident or you can say one or two incidents happen in your life and you say my life is stuck i will never find true love i will never find success i will never be in a material harvest i will never find a stable job i will never be successful no they're telling you that you will you will get this material harvest whatever you're going through if you lost something it's not mean that there is nothing good for you in the future you need to stay positive have faith on the universe don't be sorry or don't just i feel that you're not having these people are not believing on the faith uh, you're not uh, having faith on universe you're not having faith on god you're just definitely going through a lot of struggle i can feel it you've gone through a lot i love it because nine of supreme this is a nine of wands wounded card here and with the sorrow this case came up you know up and right so definitely you've gone through a lot in life you, you could be struggled th through a child you could be struggled through a working environment you could be struggled and you know you could be in a same gender sex situation you could be a rainbow tribe you know from that uh, bio gender uh, you know lesbian or whatever i don't want to really call it here but yes uh, people don't accept you people just and don't appreciate you people don't whatever whatever your problems are universe is telling you and god is telling you i love you 
I create you. How can you say that nobody loves you? How can you say that nobody cares about you? I do care. You do care for me. You believe on me. So it's, it's just a universe trying to tell you that have faith on me. Definitely. And believe in the impossible. You can do anything. You can create anything. First, you need to accept yourself. That whatever is happening, it's happening for a reason. But it's came up reverse. So it's not you're not believing. Definitely there's no faith. That's why universe is trying to tell you. You need to heal in chaos, okay? Whatever is this, this storm is going on in your life, this came up for you to teach you something, transformation, to become, to, to make you a more stronger person than ever. Third house. You know, this is communication. This is um, your ideas. This is uh, this is your trips. This is your um, who who you are, what you are, what are you creating here? You know, this is also talking about the the idea in question. you you need to believe on yourself. You don't need anyone to believe on yourself. You just need to believe on yourself and have faith on universe. That's it. That's it. This is the biggest partnership. This is the strongest partnership when you have you and your God. That's what the angel numbers are, no, triple four. This is universe, this is God. There's a master number, angelic number here. So definitely, whenever you see this number, universe is trying to tell you, don't give up, don't give up, don't lose the hope. I know you're going through a lot. I know you're stuck. I know you can't see right now where, what is the way, what is the purpose. You are, you're questioning about your life, you're questioning about everything. Don't worry, believe in me. Be positive, you will be there. I will give you, but on the right time. And there could be something that is happening for you. It's telling you that you need to compromise sometime. You know, whatever you are getting right now, it's mean that you need to be compromised with that. Then you will get in the future more and more, okay? So yeah, I feel with this king of winter, you could be emotionally detached people. You could be more logical people. You could be right now is into... Uh, I would say that some of you are really into 40s, 50s, and mid-30s, and above 50s, it could be possible you are a loner. does not have to be your male or female, but it's look like you're, you're looking for where is my other partner? Where is my life purpose? Where is my har uh, harvest? People talk about that everyone has a happy life. Why not me? Why don't I have a happy life? No, you will have. You need to be, um, you need to be more, uh, I feel that, believe on the universe, okay? Because they're telling you that you are not experienced. Every, every incident, everything that is happening with you, that is telling you something, making you more experienced, okay? Teaching you something, so learn from it, compromise with it, okay? And accept that, yes, okay, I'm learning, yes, I'm positive. I will be there. I will be successful. They're telling you dreams and decisions. Seven of Cups, you were here. Yeah, I feel that you're not dreaming about things. You're not believing on your dreams. You're not believing. You can't decide. You're indecisive about things. It came up reverse. So you're not believing on universe, what is giving you, what are they trying to do. It looks like you're really in a low vibration and low energy. That's why universe, when you sh show you this sign, it means that they're telling you, believe in impossible, stay positive. You will be there because we are here to give you. But you need to compromise, child. You need to compromise sometime. Sometimes things did not happen as we want. Sometimes things happen because God wants us to be more stronger and we need to go through that experience. Okay, that's really important for us. Yeah, we, are, we have our different life paths. We have our different life purpose. Everybody, everybody can't get whatever they're looking for. Some, someone just get into very quickly and the other people just get from years and years and years. Then they got this thing, whatever they're looking for. So be positive. You will be there. You will get it. Because they're not saying no to you. They're saying yes, but on the right time. So you got to believe on it, okay? So that is um, for you guys. Hello, triple five. Let's see. This is a master number of change, challenging. Let's see what is going on here. We have truth. We have six house, where go? We have trans signs. Okay. Trans signs, trans signs. Trans signs. Ah, okay, whatever. Nothing is yet stone. Okay. We have control. This is a Leo card reverse. You could be Leo. Where go? We have six of winter, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have three of item, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have two of winter, air. We have sacral chakra number two reverse. We have no. Hmm. We have take action. And from this we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Some of you I feel that you you are the control freaks, okay? If you're a Leo, if you're a Virgo, if you're an air sign, I'm not judging you. I feel here and it could be possible um, your partners also tell you that you're a control freak. You want to things like with your own um power okay i feel that this is why triple five is trialing triple five is definitely i told you number is a challenging and change so it's time for you to change to bring change in your life that's what they're telling you take action 
bring change in your life okay be more uh, i would say that acceptance of criticism and acceptance of why this person is telling me that i have to change this is also career change here this is also your l healthy lifestyle change okay your uh, daily routine your daily work your you need to do it could, could be more exercise now if you are your weight you're gaining the weight okay it could be possible don't judge me okay because the number of triple five is change all about change and challenging okay you like it or not but i will tell you that what it is is what it is okay definitely six house is talk about our daily routine serving our health our food our job our uh, work environment our service to other and what is good for us this is a really have making healthy choices in your love life in your uh, in your your, in your own life and your food eating healthy living healthy sleeping on the time make the routine here and that's what the take action here talking about it's time for you to do that it's time for you to control of your life because it's came up reverse it's like you're, you're just uh, okay fine the next day the next month next year i will do it no they're telling you take control of your life take action whatever you're looking for so I feel that that's why universe is trying to tell you that no, this is a time for you to take control of your life, to do something for you. Change a healthy lifestyle, change your life patterns, change your thinking. Okay, bring the positivity, bring the truth. You need to face the truth now. This is a time for you to accept the truth. Whatever the truth is, you know that I feel here. You already know it, but you, you could be more, I would say, your ego is trying to tell you, ego is our mind, right? Your mind is trying to tell you, no, 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 don't listen to these people, don't, they're telling you wrong. No, I feel that it's time for you, six of winter, take these critics, take this um, ego aside, okay? And the six of winter, it's time to move, it's time to m make a move, it's time to make a decision. Two of winter, you can't be indecisive, what should I do? Where, should, where, where I have to go? This is a, your decision, you need to do it here, okay? Some of you, someone could be coming from your past and wanted a second chance. You need to give this person a chance, okay, if they are changed. But if you are keep coming, keep, keep coming this person saying, no, 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 I don't want it. I don't want, I don't want this ex. I don't want this past relationship. You need to give this person a chance. They could be changed. You know, this is a change coming, definitely. This person could be coming with a change. So you need to make a decision here, what I'm picking up here, whatever, whatever your uh, indecisive energy is going on in your own critics and your life, but they're telling you take action. It's not like you're saying, no, you're doing nothing. It's time for action. It's time to take control. It's time to do something. This is a time for you to focus on truth. Three of autumn, it's time to create with other people. It's time to create abundance. It's time for take action, whatever your mind is telling you to create something. But you could be not focusing there. Definitely all these cards is telling me movement here. All these cards are movements here. So move forward. Whatever your life purpose is, whatever your universe is trying to tell you, whatever you have, gut feelings, your intuitions are telling you to do something, you need to do that. You need to take action. Don't avoid your inner voice. Don't avoid um, what universe is trying to give you a sign. Whenever you see triple five, they're telling you that it's time for you. Some of you, you have a negative life pattern. You, are have, you have indecisive energy. That's why they're telling you, no, stay positive. Move on. Be positive about future. Don't be indecisive. Take action. Okay, then we have this sacred chakra reverse here too. This is Scorpio energy. You could be Scorpios. So you guys are people have here that you could be um, like really not focused on um, material. You could be more focused on material things, not spiritual things. Are you, there could be an imbalance between spiritual and material things. So they're definitely telling you that this is the time for you to balance things out. It's time for you to control. You could be more in something, one energy, like more spiritual or more material, more controlling or more, uh, you know, passive energy here. So that's what I hear. I definitely, submissive energy, like some of you are very submissive, like the other person, whatever they're telling you, you're saying, yes, 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 no. You need to stand up and take control of your life. Take, take this chain. And for others of you, you are more controlling. You're saying, no, you need to say me, yes, 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 yes. Whatever your energy is in this energy, you need to balance out. That's what I'm picking up here from this group. That's what the change needed here, okay? Nothing is yet in stone, okay? And with this transition, definitely it's a time for change. It's time for healing. It's time to take control and balance things out. And nothing is yet stone. You can't say that this is judgment. So someone could be coming from fast. You need to accept that. And you need to change. You need to see that what other people are seeing you. It's so not a negative energy. It's like people are telling you that you need to change. And you need to accept the truth. I could be, uh, could be some of you, someone is coming to tell you the truth from the past. You need to accept that at least this person is telling you the truth. Be honest. Speak your truth. And also accept your truth. And take action. Okay? This is, that's why universe is trying to tell you where you have to focus and why you have to change. Okay? Hello, triple six group. Let's see why you are seeing this number. 
We have miracles. Wow. Number six is a balance. Venus is also past life. We have 10th house. Yes, Capricorn. You could be at them. We have inner child. Okay. We have communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So you could be Gemini. It's came up reverse. We have open up number four. Earth energy. Yeah, definitely. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Six of water, more earth. Six of pentacles. Two of summer. Wow. Two of cups, wise skins, and Scorpio. We have the chariot, Cancer. So you could be combination of Cancer and Capricorn or Cancer and Virgo. Sorry. Cancer and Gemini. Gemini or Capricorn. Gemini or Cancer. Take what resonates with you. We have number seven, crown chakra reverse. We have helpful people. We have no need to worry. And we have unrequited love. It's game up reverse. Okay. Some of you... You are, okay, let me tell you, because some, some people definitely know about two of cups, two of summer. This is love. Some of you, you've gone through unrequited love situation in the past. Okay, you feel this is not mutual. Someone rejected you, someone ignored you, and you stopped communicating with that person. But your intuitions are telling you with this crown chakra that this is mutual. But this person is not speaking up. Or you need to open up to this person. Tell this person clearly. This could be your energy. You rejected someone, but you have feeling for that person. Open up if you have feeling for this person. Whatever the case is, that's why I told you six. It's a number of harmony, balance. You need to ask help from other people about this love situation, about this partnership, about this business partnership also, some of you. But this is more likely love situation here for some of you. Okay, I have with these miracles here, some of you, you really need to believe on miracles. You need to believe on that anything can happen. Anything. Believe in impossible here, okay? Some of you, you could be dealing with people who are uh, not your usual type, not your types, but you need to keep an open mind. Anything can happen with anyone. So open up to those people. They can bring uh, miracles and happiness and love and romance or partnerships in your life, in your business, in your work. Do those things that you never did before. That's what I'm picking up from this pipe, okay? And uh, that's why universe is trying to tell you it's time for open up. It's time for creativity. It's time to bring harmony, balance in everything and help ask for help from others. Six of Pentacles also talking about helping and working other people's also do service. If you have a lot of money, if you have this uh, successful job, successful uh, business, you need to help other people also if they're coming for you to help and guide them. OK, whatever your uh, knowledge is, whatever your wisdom is, share with other people, share the knowledge with other people. They can start this um, business too, work too. Six of art, I'm also talking about you could be a life coach, you could be a love, love coach, romance coach. So you could teach other people also with the six of art, I'm also talking about balance, harmony, working with other people, service of other people, you know. Then we have this 10th house, Capricorn. This is money. This is chariot. This is movement. This is success. Overcoming through any challenges, being more successful in money. P responsibilities, taking the responsibilities, moving forward, travels. It's here. It will be more successful. I definitely feel that you need to get out of your comfort zone. You will be successful. Whatever. You need to believe in your miracles. Also, some of you, you really need to heal inner child. That's what they're talking about. Helpful people. You have unrequited love situations from the past. You could be not um, a loving child for your parent. They did not love you. They did not give you that attention, that love. You have to heal. You know, you could be separated from your parents. You could be lost your one parent. I don't know. But this is also inner child here. Whatever happened, you need to heal inner child. That's why you could be attracting those people that give you the unrequited love situation. Because you're looking for love in the wrong people, it could be. Crown chakra reverse here. You don't listen to your intuition. You don't follow your intuitions. So universe is trying to tell you that you need to um, follow your intuitions and communication is key for you in every relationship, in every working things. Open up. Don't be feeling like these people are here to, you know, um, to abnormal you, to, to give you this. Um, not everyone is selfish, I would say, but also make a healthy boundary. That's good for you. Balance is here, very important for you, for balance. Open up also. When needed here, when, when there is needed, you know that your intuitions are telling you that you need to open up. You need to tell this person. You need to share. You need to communicate. So please do that. Don't ignore that thing here. So yeah, this is what I'm picking up here. But I feel here, no need to worry. Whatever you're looking for, it's coming. It could be two of cups. It could be partnerships in, and romance and love. In relationships, it's coming. You will never always be un, in an unrequited love situation. You will definitely find true love, your true soulmate. No need to worry here. But this is also talk about give, equal give and take. You need to understand and you need to choose those people who are equally putting the effort. 
with you not you are the one just giving and giving and not receiving so this is what you could be ignoring your intuitions and you're giving 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 no don't do that this is also unhealthy just choose that love that is mutual that is equal open up to those people's only that give and bring happiness and joy and success in your life okay and also uh, chariot this is like movement here in your success in your uh, in your partnership with other people's communication is key work with other people's try to communicate with other people's don't need to worry universe has your back and miracles believe on miracles you can create a lot of abundance in your life if you will follow your intuitions follow your guides but you're ignoring it you need to see the situation with a different perspective whatever your intuitions are gut telling you you're not believing it so believe on that. You are over. We have seven. We have seven. It's a miracle. It's a. It's a. It's a double seven here. It's a definitely a universe number here. Spiritual number here. So you need to heal. Okay. Whatever you want. Don't ignore that. Don't ignore the wound. Don't ignore these inner child problems. You need to heal it. Ten thousand also talk about success. It's harmony. It's it's business. It's creating creation. It's financially stability. Be responsible of your of your life. Be responsible and make a healthy boundary for yourself and, um, and, and around your loved ones and for yourself. That's what the universe is trying to tell you. Make sure whatever you, you are starting in a partnership, in love, in work, in business, this, is, this should be equal. This should be equal. And then start, you are, you are a warrior. You can overcome through any challenge if you believe. If you believe in miracles, if you believe in yourself. But you also need to open up because people could be seeing you like you're detached. You're not the, per the person, to, uh, you know, um, to trust you. You need to trust also. That's very important for equal give and take, okay? So that is the, your reading. Hello, triple seven. Let's see why you are seeing this uh, number. From my personal experience, this is a uh, spirituality, like, you know, we have pleasure, yes. We have second house, Taurus. We have miracles, okay, okay, I told you. We have your commitment is being tested. We have comfort, confront, sorry. Number 18, this is a cancer card, moon card here. Queen of summer, water energy, yes, strongly cancer, you could be. Pisces, cancer, Scorpio. We have three of winter, air sign. We have Prince of Supreme Fire sign. We have movement, choices, decision, reverse. We have recovery. We have ask your angels. And we have healing family issues came up reverse. Okay, whenever you see triple seven, it's, it's ta definitely talk about you need to heal your shadow side. Be honest. I will be honest. Like you have good shadow side. You need to work on this. Because you also have some healing family issues. It's came up reverse. So you could be ignoring your shadow side. You could be ignoring your problems. You could be ignoring your childhood traumas. You could be ignoring your family issues, family problems. You're saying, no, this is nothing wrong with me. But you need to see it. It's time for you. Whenever you see triple seven, it talk about... You could be... Upbring your upbringing in the families like... Could be in a different culture, in a different religion. You need to more open up. You need to accept what you are. You are unique. You are different. You don't need to be set in your family's uh, setup. Okay, they could be more. Um, I would say uh, more educated. They could be more different from you. You are different also. You need to accept what you are. Don't hide in the group. Don't hide in your family uh, family problems and issues and say no. I can't do it. You can do it. You can do it. You need to upfront your emotions, your sad side, your fears. That is definitely coming from your family, coming from your childhood. You don't. You can't ignore it. It's time for you to heal those issues. You could be uh, in a in a because look at this. We have a movement choices and decision. It's came up reverse. You can't decide. You could be in us a family stuck like your mother is there, your father is there, and you need to choose where to live. You know, like your family are separated, your your parents are separated, your kids are separated, your husband is separated. I don't know whatever your family situation is. They're telling you that do whatever you feel right because you have your own opinion don't uh, think that other people's opinions they are forcing you to uh, to accept it and you are doing it because you feel like okay this is my family thing i have to accept them i have to say yes to them no do whatever feel good for you healthy for you right for you i'm saying this here you need to make a decision healthy choices movement here but you're stuck in the past life patterns that's why i feel that this is a time for you to recover it's time for you to ask your angels for help, meditation, yoga, whatever you believe in meditation, whatever your um, 
whatever your purpose of doing of meditation whatever you want to do meditation you feel very spiritual you feel very um helpful it's time for you to recover from those wounds three of winter heartbroken wounded from the past your heart is broken you could be experience third party situation always in relationships in your families you know and then they're telling your commitment is being tested so some of you could be going through a third party situation in love in partnerships i don't know but it's here your commitment is being tested so some of you could be dealing with your soulmate whatever it is you want to call your label because it's this relationship is teaching you to confront to see your shadow side and work on yourself and recover don't go for that if you will be together or not this is not what universe is trying to tell you universe is trying to tell you it's time for you to find your own peace to find your own pleasure try to heal yourself and recover from your past wounds okay and be in this energy of queen of summer if you are a feminine if you are a male even accept your feminine energy accept the love loving emotional nurture and confronting it's time for you to nurture your emotions nurture your love and being nurture if you're a mother and you have a mother issues could be whatever it's time for you to being nurture to heal yourself this is good for your future that's why they're telling you because believe in the miracles and pleasure this is coming in the future if you will believe on that if you will work on this shadow side on you and you will heal whatever your problems are this will bring bring miracles and pleasure in your future and we also have second house this is a family this is finances this is whatever this is also family here look at this family siblings friends finances this is your value your asset your resources your belief system i definitely feel that you need to heal you need to work on your creativity if you're a queen of summer you need to follow your guides your intuition it's time for you to create something for you because your commitment is being tested whatever you are doing three of winter yeah it's really tiring for you it's really um hard for you to move forward but prince of spring is a charming is a self confident passionate restless you you got to do here you could be dealing with someone who is younger than you because we have two uh, court card here queen and prince so there could be age difference here that's why this there could be third party situation here you need to heal whatever this is you need to heal you need to learn from this connection and ask your angels for help okay and recovery this is a main a main this reading is telling you that you need to recover you need to heal that's what the master number 77 is spirituality finding your peace finding your pleasure believing in miracles anything can happen don't just stuck in the uh, you know energies for uh, religions ages and uh, you know the, nothing nothing a fact this is only matter here that what you want what you are looking for and you got to heal here and make a decision this is a time for you whenever you see this triple seven it's time for you to recover it's time to heal your inner wounds it's time for you to find your peace and miracle believe on miracles and find your pleasure and movement moving moving forward go with the flow you can't stuck in the past you can't because your commitments with the universe with the god with the family is tested they test you because you could be more um, you know submissive saying yes 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 to your family your lover your parents i don't know or you could be more controlling this is a time for you it's tested make a healthy boundary nurture yourself choose yourself first whatever you whatever your energy is please work on this shadow side it's really important for you to bring this healthy and uh, you know resourceable things for yourself because it's really good and healthy for you because you can make movement choices and decision this is yours balance too balance okay so that's what i'm picking up here this is um your reading hello triple eight let's see we have courage some of you you have saturn in your eighth house we have 12th house yeah some of you saturn in 12th house pisces i could be in 12th house anywhere we have healing sounds you and your loved ones are safe cancer new moon we have feeling alone five of pentacles reverse earth sign definitely you guys are earth taurus virgo capricorn king of summer pisces cancer scorpio we have the star aquarius oh king of water wow we have two kings here i mean wow we have summer and earth you could be combination of water and earth or you have a lot of earth and water in your chart uh aquarius uh, placement is very strong saturn is very strong here i'm also picking up um you could be same gender sex does not have to be 
we have moving on six of swords reverse we have within the next few weeks okay we have choose a new direction and we have trust this situation is calling for you to have faith yeah two cards i would suggest to whatever you are going through right now the star and the trust it's faith patience trust the patience eight it's a slow i told you saturn right something is slow moving in your life that could be love that could be your success that could be your business that could be your, your life is really slowly slowly moving and you're saying oh my god i'm just tired but you need to trust on the universe you need to believe on the miracles and courage have patience everything will be fine some of you you will be um a star yeah you could be you want to be a star you want to be a light worker you want to be a spiritual healer and you will create a lot of things in the world but you need a courage here to do this thing to be a star to uh, to be on the stage i would say it's really needed courage here whatever you are going through whatever your dream is whatever your desire is whatever your goal is it's it's it will need a lot of courage don't give up they're telling you with the eight here it will slow moving we have 12th house this is pisces this is um this is um foreign land this this could be someone far from you the star you know this could be you're working in hollywood lollywood i don't know bollywood you could be working in um you could be working with other peoples you know in the world the whole world could be you going and traveling from one place to another because you're a star whatever you're doing you're creating in your life you're a star in your own skill in your own creative art you want to be here and you will be there if you will believe on that because it it this thing that you're thinking and feeling it's need more courage you will be the center of the stage if you will bring this um some of you with this healing sound you could be want to be a music singer musician dancer healing sound you want to be um a coach of some sort okay healing for other people's light worker occult which i don't know something is with the healing here and cancer also you could be one a coach of relationships or families issues uh, you know healing traumas or something 12th house definitely is something that is in our sub subconscious mind you you want to be a psychiatrist you want to be a popular star you anywhere anywhere whatever it is whatever your your disease, your your faith your tendencies your um believe in whatever you are seeking for it's coming the star is your wish and 12th house you're seeking for this is your wish come true you can do it you can achieve it you know because we have this trust here choose a new direction if something is not working for you but universe is telling you that choose a new direction come on the right purpose come on the right path whatever your dream is because you will be a successful in that king of autumn you will create this compassionate accomplished charismatic gifted you are a gifted already but you need a courage to polish that skill and show the universe you, you will be a successful business person accomplished person entrepreneur i feel here some of you you will create this abundance you will be a star if you will believe if you will trust if you will choose a new direction you will follow your guides look at this they're telling you they're showing you this is the way this is the way right so within the next few weeks you will get get some opportunity whenever you will watch this video king of summer this could be also talking about be more honorable devoted mature or warm hearted because you and your loved one are safe you could be a cancer pisces or scorpio you need to accept what you are you could be in the same gender sex and you can do and create a lot of things for other people who are in same gender sex you want to help them you want to you know come into that you you, you definitely whatever you want to do it's it's really needed more courage here to show this uh, whatever you are looking for okay i'm just uh, talking about here some of you really want to fight for uh, you know freedom freedom of others freedom of animals you could be working with people spirituality i don't know whatever your dream is you can achieve it and also you will create this a lot of abundance for you some of you you are stuck in the past with this moving on reverse energy here you are having a difficult time to move on but it's came up reverse you need to release the past that's why they're telling you choose a new direction you could be dealing with same old patterns same old things or same new same persons same patterns you got to trust you got to change it it's time your soul is and universe is trying to tell you change it change bring change movement movement come and move 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 on whatever is disturbing you whatever is not making you happy move on 
This is movement card here, number eight. Within the next few weeks, you see that. And then we have the feeling alone, five of pentacles, this came up reverse. Yeah, it's time. It's time to left, get out of your comfort zone. It's time for you to get out of this feeling alone and isolated energy. You have a lot of things you can create for worlds and for peoples. Make a courage. You, you could be more introvert, okay? Get out of this introvert energy. And you, you have a star already. You have skills. You just need to polish that, nurture that, being courageous and move on. Whatever is disturbing you. Some of you, this could be, some of you are still stuck in the past energy, dealing with the past I feel that this 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 number is telling you to move forward, to take direction, and trust on that on path on this on this uh, direction. You will see the result. You will be a star. It's a courage here, twelfth house. This could be fears, you know, telling you to stop. No healing sound. Listen your intuitions. They're telling you. They're guides. Try to heal. Meditate. And being courageous. Okay. This thing is really making you strong if you believe on that. Whatever you're going through. And whatever your universe is trying to tell you, choose the way. If you are stuck, you will be stuck. This is your energy. It's time. It's time for movement. Your life is definitely telling you, be courageous and move on. Whatever it is, it's love, it's relationship, it's career, it's your desires, it's your goals. They're telling you, get out of your comfort zone. You're not alone. Universe is with you. They are guiding you that we are here to guide you. You are on the right path. You need to believe that. Okay? So yes, this is a success number here, but slowly. If you will trust that, you will be there. Don't give up. This will need a pro this is a process and it will not just come at a one night. It will happen. Slowly movement process, but you will be there. This is a promise also. Okay? Okay, the last one the people who choose 999, let's see. Let's see why you are seeing this number. We have stand still. We have the first house, Aries. You are, are, we have love, wow. So yeah, definitely you are Aries, some of you. And you need to accept love. Choose love. Show the world the real you, Aquarius, you could be. Hmm. We have, this is a star card, healing, number 17, reverse. The star, Aquarius. Princes of Spring, fire sign. Five of Summer, water energy. Prince of Winter, air energy. Then we have, oh wow, Empress, number three, Fertility. It's game of reverse. Taurus and Libra. They have the situation will improve. We have meditations brings answer. And then we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Hmm. I feel that you guys are creative people. And you, are, you could be not accepting your creativity. You don't want to involve that. You know that you are creative people. You can create abundance for you and for your kids. Whatever your creative skill here. Because the Empress presence here definitely talking about something creativity. Whatever your creative skills are. Okay. But it looks like you're not believing on that. Look at this. Some of you, you have a mother issues. Definitely. Because we have Empress. This is healing reverse here. Some of you, you have a mother issues. Uh, you could be a single mom watching this video. You have these issues, traumas. You, you're not believing on this. You're having a difficult time. That's where 999 is telling you that it's time for you to choose yourself, to heal yourself. Put everything aside and choose yourself because you are different. You are unique. You need to believe in yourself with the Empress. You need to heal. You need to choose yourself. Three, come with the, uh, you know, align with the universe. Stand still because your life is stand still. It's not moving forward. The same pattern. The same living, the same thinking, the same um, patterns that you're dealing with. First house, it's time for change. First house is Aries card here. But it's also about you. The way you are thinking, the way you are living, your, your identity. What you are, what you have to do. Your actions, your desire, who you are. And also I'm seeing the mask here. Please release this mask. And show the world real you. Show the, even for yourself, accept yourself, what you are. Don't be shy. Don't hesitate. Don't be sorry for yourself. You're not sorry. You are you. Whatever you are. You could be in the same gender sex. That's why you're having a difficult time, you know, to show your true identity. Don't be, please, whatever you are. You could be not believing on yourself that you can create this abundance. You have could be uh, some uh, health issues, your weight issues. You will say people will judge you. Let them. Let them judge you. 
you need to choose yourself whatever you are even though if you're a male and you have a lot of feminine energy in yourself you need to believe you need to choose yourself you need to show that yes you are and don't be shy don't be hesitate because of the people's that's what the t t universe is trying to tell you show the world what you are aquarius you are different you are different for a reason and make the difference in the world so the more people like you can come and show the people the real themselves right that's what universe is trying to do nine is a number of individuality for me i did not set it because i wanted to see the cards what i'm telling you but universe is definitely giving me validation here that you need to choose you your identity your true identity don't hide in the groups where is the mask here yes don't hide hide your true identity don't hide in the groups don't try to settle down because the people will think what you are no show yourself what you are it's came up reverse it's like you're not accepting yourself then how people will accept you show the world real you and let them do and say whatever they want to say and do okay we have the love here accept the love accept give this love to yourself give this love to people heal yourself heal your heart heal in heart heal your heart what i'm being look at this you have a lot of love to give to other people you could be a healer star seeds indigo child or empath person look at this with this healing here okay with this whole i feel the universe here in this almost look at this the herd here look at this the holes this is love you are you are you, you are made of love you need to believe that open and choose the love don't hide your emotions because you are you there's something that is stand still you're having a difficult time to choose this love this identity this true self they're telling you playfulness is time it's time to have fun it's time to get out of this um energy of negative meditations brings answer you will get out of this dark energy the situation will improve for you with meditation with healing with romance with fun with flirt with other peoples go out have fun create your own abundance with other peoples you know i'm also picking up yeah look at this five of summer you are definitely heartbroken you are definitely going through a lot you need to heal your heart don't be sorry don't be sorry for anything if something happened in the past this was not your mistake if someone did not love you if someone did not choose you if someone ignored you if someone give you divorce if someone not helped you this is their mistake this is their karma you need to be happy you need to choose yourself we have the prince of winter and we have princess of spring so you could be same gender sex at same age you could be dealing with you could have a mother of a two children i'm also picking up here it's time it's time to optimistic energetic creative intellectual determined focused it's time to fly it's time to bring this fun in your life again what i'm picking up here so i feel that you need to bring love happiness and creativity in your life and choose yourself your true identity then this meditation this healing the situation will improve for you it's time for change your whole perspective okay the first i don't care about what people will see you and what people will think don't worry f them f them just focus on yourself stand still because your life is not focused on your not life don't depend on other people's this is your life choose love choose your real you and show the world what you are and be happy try to heal try to focus on you don't pe choose other people don't think about why this person did to me why i'm heartbroken why did this person did not choose me this is their karma come on let them go let them release and focus on yourself that's what the number is 999 it's individuality you are different you are unique you are loved you are blessed but you need to believe on this okay so that's your reading i really hope it resonated see you later in the next video guys guys bye god bless you all